Well, hey there, YouTube. It's time for another voice teacher reaction video. Today, I'm doing BTS Dynamite. I've got to admit, I don't know these guys, but the song has been recommended to me uh, like crazy, and the band has been recommended to me like crazy, so uh, I'm really looking forward to jumping in and seeing it. Uh, it's going to be the first time I've watched this song, so we'll, uh, we'll have some fun with that and see if I can give you some insights as to what these guys are doing with their voices. Um, yeah, so I, I don't even know what we're going to do. But uh, since that's generally what I do, that's what I'll do. I'll react to it realistically and then uh, try and be helpful to those of you who are singers. I know a lot of people that watch these aren't singers, but I know a lot of you are singers. So my goal for the singers who watch this is to actually be helpful and let you know what they're doing with their voice and, you know, give you some insights as to how you might be able to develop that yourself. So there you go. That's what I like to do. Anyway, I'm Mike Goodrich, creator of the Inner Singer podcast, Inner Singer Singing Programs, and soon to be released, depending on when you're watching this, the Inner Singer book. Yes, a book. And there, so, hey, there you go. And I'll let you know when it's out. I write it every day pretty awesome. It's going to be fun. Anyway, hey, but that's not why you're here. You're not here to hear about a book that isn't even out yet. You're here to watch these guys and watch me react to them and then get some insight as to what the heck they're doing and how you can do the same thing if you want to create a boy band, a girl band. I, I don't know. I worked with lots of boy bands and lots of, of female bands, groups. Uh, do you say boy or boy band? That sounds like, you know, I don't know. You see, I don't even know. You know, I'm not going to say anything. I'm burying myself, um, burying myself, showing my age. So, you know, let's just bring these guys on right now. And forgive me, I don't know their names because these guys are totally new to me. And the other thing is I'm going to pause the video relatively often because when I don't, I get flagged and copyrighted and it's a big freaking pain in the patoot because then I have to go back and re-edit it and do all this kind of nice. So I don't want to have to do that. So forgive me, but... That's the way it's going to have to fly. All right, let's rock. Here we go. So watch me break the fire, set the night light. JK! Hey! Shoes on, get up in the morning, cup of meat, let's rock and roll. King Kong, kick the fur, rolling on like a rolling stone. Uh -huh. Sing song when I'm walking on, jump up to the tablet prone. Hey! Ding dong, call me on my phone, nice tea, and I'll get my ping pong. Hey! This day! Well, I really... I really like these guys already. The, 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 I don't know if he's the lead singer, but the, the guy who was just singing. I don't know if he's all, always the lead singer. I assume they probably all sing really well. But comes in on, e, on a C sharp five, boom, right out of the chute. Um, it's kind of falsetto-ish and then comes down into a blend in his mix, which is awesome. Um, his pitch is freaking great, isn't it? I mean, it's, it sounds so easy. and I, I love good pitch. It's just like hitting those notes right between the eyes with a little bluing of the note once in a while, a little style, which is awesome. And the guys who are punching in, phew, they're spot on. So, um, I mean, I don't know what I expected, of course. I mean, they're going to be great. Why, why would anybody request a, be requesting that I react to them if they're not great? Uh, that's, that's usually not a big surprise that these people are really good. So anyway, let's rock. Here we go. Hey, hit a bass, boom, I'm rock. Woo -hoo. Okay, awesome. And that guy's great too. And as an aside, which will mean nothing to you and you will not care at all about, and you'll probably click off the video as soon as I say this, but that's totally okay. I was I was called into audition to be the one of the judges of a singing television show at one time. This is about 10, 15 years ago. It was when all those were really, really big, American Idol and all that kind of stuff was happening. Well, it still is, obviously, The Voice and all that. But this was something else. I can't even remember the name of the show. And literally, I'm sitting there, you know, I, I've got, I've got, a, I got a great clientele. I got all sorts of stuff going on. And this guy looks at me, literally the producer looked at me and said, would you consider dyeing your hair blue? And I'm like, you probably got the wrong guy, you know? Not that there's anything wrong with blue hair, but not sure that's my scene, you know? That, yeah, a vocal coach with blue hair, I'll be taken really, really seriously. Um, anyway, again, not that there's anything wrong with blue hair. 
He's a young guy. I take him seriously. He's a great singer with blue hair. That's totally cool. I, re I mean, no disrespect to anybody with blue hair, except I could not believe that that was this friggin' guy's criteria. Not how good I was at what I do. Will you dye your hair blue? No, I won't. You complete moron. Okay, thank you. Anyway, please don't unsubscribe or give me hate mail. Okay, gotta tell you, these guys are so good at starting to get annoying. <laughs> I mean, really, if I was that age, I'd be thinking, why can people do this? I couldn't do that when I was their age. I can't do it now. I think I can sing those notes, but not like that, not that well, but I can sing them. I can teach them. But uh, these guys are, are really, really strong in their mix. Really, I, They all have solid pitch, great, um, obviously with great harmony, but they're all great lead singers in their own right. Really, really solid pitch, good runs, good intonation. Um, it, it's, it's, it's kind of annoying, you know, really. Um, I worked my tail off to be able to do this stuff. These guys aren't young enough to have to, to have had, to, these guys aren't old enough to have to worked to have had to work as hard as I did on my voice. I can't even talk right now, but there. So I slowed it down for myself. But uh, no, seriously, these guys are awesome. They totally deserve all their, their uh, success. I'm just in a weird mood and I'm having fun doing this. And I'm recalling the days that I couldn't do this and it's kind of annoying. But uh, let's get on with it. I love these guys. Ooh, that was a nice harmony. That was cool. Ladies and gentlemen, I got some medicine, so you should keep your eyes on the ball. There's a get it, help it, can hit the big spoon, my man. Love it, sweet it, honey. Yeah, this big cha ching, like honey. This call, I'm blown, I'm in today. I'm good to go, I'm diamond. You know I glow. Let's go! Which one of these guys can't sing? Apparently, none of them can't sing. There are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And, uh, okay, I'm going to say something really stupid just in case this happens to be true. But these guys, they, they seem like brothers. They're so, they're so tight and so connected and their harmonies are so good. They're, and you know what? They sound strangely the same, too. I mean, granted, most guys singing up that high are going to have a very similar quality because the voice thins, the chords thin, you know. Um, but they, they've got a very similar quality, a very similar style. Maybe it's just because they sing together all the time. Again, I don't know the background. I'm going to do some research on these guys, and I'm going to do some, uh, some more reaction videos on these guys because they're so darn good and it's really fun. They've got so much energy. And the other thing that's so cool, they've got so much energy, and they're actually sitting down for the most part, except for these guys, two guys right now that just couldn't take it any longer and had to stand up, which is awesome. Um, but I love the energy. I love, I love the joyfulness. I love the energy. I love the control they have. I love the ease with which they sing. I love the confidence. You know, this is not that easy to do. I mean, to, to get up there and, and, and sing these notes and be that bang, 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 spot on. You know, and like one guy sings great. And then the next guy could be sitting there thinking, holy crap. Now, he just sang great. Now, I got to sing great. And now the next guy, and I got to outdo him, and then the next guy, and by the fourth guy, and everybody's sung great, you're like thinking, holy crap, you know, what am I going to do here? But these guys have none of that. They're all really solid in their technique, really solid in their confidence, uh, and their mixes are fantastic, which I'm totally digging. Anyway, let's go. And see, now he's, he's stepping into that with more power. Whereas before it started out, it was a little falsetto -y up there, and now he's like really pounding into it. So that's pretty cool. That was really nice. Wow, that's higher than it sounded. I did the wrong, completely wrong, because I don't know the song. But I mean, I had no idea that was a B natural. It sounded like about an A flat or something like that, but he sings it so easy 
and so much strength and goes to two bridges. The first bridge, E, F, F sharp to G, and the second, A, B flat, B natural, four. It's killing it. I love it. Ooh, that guy didn't sing much, but I, I really like his voice. Okay, that was that was poor playing on my part. So that's E natural, which is right in the bridge, and he's doing the na 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 up to the A flat four, which I just did that really badly, but hey, that's why I'm not up there. That's why I'm here reacting to these people, right? If I could sing like that, and I was young like that, I'd be in the band. Okay, now that was pretty cool. Same line as the other guy just sang. He sang it with even more strength, with some edge and some power and a really super duper strong mix. It sounds just like his chest voice, which is confusing to singers. Any of you singers out there, that is not chest voice. You probably already know that. But uh, back in my day, when I first started teaching this stuff, nobody knew that. Everybody thought it was chest voice. You know, my teacher, who, who made... All of this mixed stuff, incredibly popular and got everybody thinking about it when everybody was just yelling their chest voice off. Seth Riggs was the teacher that I had, the mentor that, that got me started in teaching 30 years ago. Um, everybody would have thought that it had it not been for him and all the people that studied with him and the hundreds and hundreds of people that are out there teaching this stuff right now. Um, everybody thought that was chest voice. And everybody thought you couldn't learn it. And of course you can learn it. It's a mix, and it's easy to teach, okay? If you know what you're doing. Thankfully, I do. And that time he goes into a little falsetto on the C sharp for effect, and got... Oh, so he's on, he got the C sharp, the B, and it comes in stronger on the A. Obviously for effect, because clearly he can do whatever he wants, which is pretty cool. Okay, this is really good. <laughs> oh, and I like the orange microphone. Is that an orange microphone? That's very cool. Never seen an orange microphone before. Maybe that's it. I think that might be it. That's why these guys sing so well. It's that orange microphone. I don't have an orange microphone. I'm sure that's it. Uh huh. It's, it's it's the colored microphones. Look at they all have color to them. Come on, I've been using like a Shure 57 or some stupid microphone that no, no offense, Shure. I love the mic. I don't actually use that mic, but I have one. Um, but, but I'm pretty convinced now that it's the microphones. It's, man, that's a load off my mind. And this guy. Oh, I love that. It makes me want to sing. Oh, come on, really? You had to modulate a whole step. I was just about to sing a C sharp, and you're up on an E flat? Forget about it. I can't do that on camera. What if I miss? Okay, now that just ticks me off. Now I'm sure he's up on a C. Up C sharp, get out. Oh man, these guys are just really starting to tick me off. You know, now they're just showing off. I really like that guy's voice too, man. Well, I like all their voices. I mean, I would be hard pressed. Do not write in and ask me which one I like best. I, I mean, I, I don't know. They're all really great. Oh, yeah. Okay. Okay. Going to be singing that song all day long, I have a feeling. Very, very hooky. Very, very catchy. Love these guys. These guys are unbelievable. That's why they're so famous. And, uh, well, there you go. 
I'm still not convinced that it's not the mics, though. I mean, I'm gonna I'm gonna kind of look really closely and see, but I think it's I think it's the I think it's the fancy, colorful microphones that are really giving them their talent. You know, it's kind of like Samson with his hair. Take it away. Yeah, put the microphones down, guys. Let's see how good you are, huh? I'm sure that's what it is. Yeah, that's that's what it is. All right. Anyway, no, these guys were awesome, and they are singing up through their second bridge, second bridge for a man, say baritone and tenor, not a bass. There are very few basses, but for you, for, for your basses, it would be your, your third bridge. At the A4, B flat four, and B four is right across the bridge, which is awesome. They're going up to the C, C sharp, E flat, which is going to start moving in to the third bridge, which commonly, commonly referred to as the third bridge baritones, tenors, fourth for basses. Um, the thing I like about it is their bridges are absolutely seamless. Seamless, you know. They have no breaks. They have no visible sign of any thing going on, right? Shifts and resonance are taking place beautifully. Vocal cords are working. The muscles in the cords are working in balance with each other. Everything is working beautifully. And the thing that I love is, is, is not only the voice, but the inner game thing, which is what I'm huge on. The whole inner game thing. And you can just see these guys are just having fun. This is why I used to love Ricky Martin. I totally used to love Ricky Martin because the guy looked like he's having so much darn fun when he performs. How can you not love him? These guys are the same way. They're just having a great time. They're very relaxed. They've got the technique. I don't know if any of them studied or if they're just all... Let me know in the comments. I'm sure all you guys who are going to be watching this, if you haven't tuned out already, <laughs> because of me, not because of them. Um, because Who the hell is this guy that's blaming it on the mic? You know, I'm obviously just kidding. Uh, but uh, this is this is this is fun for me. To uh, get introduced to all sorts of great music, all sorts of great singers, and uh, just completely get reminded that uh, I wasn't able to do this when I was their age, and it just ticks me off. But anyway, uh, but I love all of this stuff. And if you would like to find out how to do this, watch this segue because this is smooth, smooth stuff. I've got a free singing accelerator video series that you should absolutely get. Why? Number one, I made it. I'll get serious right now. I never actually get very serious. But seriousness, they're really great videos. I've got one called The Magic of Vowels, and I just blew the secret right there, didn't I? Magic of Vowels. But anyway, you notice these vowels. I should go back over this. In the next video I do with these guys, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to kind of focus on why their vocal line is so good. Vocal line means that everything stays in line, just like it sounds. When they're doing that, ba, 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 you know, it almost sounds like they're just doing it on one, let's say, sound. You know, their voice never goes out of line. It doesn't, you don't have one vowel that's like, e, a, a, you don't have all kinds of stuff going on where you got like a, 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 an inline vertical vowel and a horizontal vowel, an inline vertical horizontal, you know, and the voice doesn't know what the heck to do. Um, you can tell their bridges are so smooth, they know exactly what they're doing, and they, they negotiate these bridges incredibly well, going up and coming down. So it's all about vowels for that, or certainly vowels is a huge key to singing through your break and being able to nail your high notes. So for any of you singers that are watching this, get these videos. Okay, I also have a video called Singing in the Brain. These guys are so confident. They're so assured that if you lack confidence in your singing, definitely you want to watch this video because it's going to help you gain confidence. It's going to help you deal with any kind of negative sabotaging behavior regarding your singing. But what it's also going to do is it's going to give you tools to actually help you improve any part of your singing without actually singing more. Scientifically proved technique. So get that as well. And I have a video called Authentic Performance, which if you want to take your performing and your communication of a song to the next level, get that. So anyway, I encourage you to get the Free Singing Accelerator series. It's free. Come on. And if you're a singer, seriously, you should have it. It's some of the best stuff out there, and I don't even charge for it. I should, but I don't. Um, anyway, if you enjoyed this, subscribe. Uh, love your comments. Like the video if you like it. And uh, which I assume if you are still here and you haven't tuned out way long ago with all my ridiculous comments, um, then perhaps you like it. 
or you were just sticking around to see if it got any worse. You know, that, that could be a possibility too. Anyway, uh, I will see you next time. Love your comments. Love your suggestions. That's why I'm doing this one. So uh, there you go. I don't think I have anything else to say. Uh, if I did, I, nah, I'll edit it in if I do. I don't think I do. Anyway, thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. Hope you guys are doing great. And uh, sorry for my crazy ranting and my ridiculousness, but, you know, you got to have fun. You know, really, seriously. It's all about fun. For me, it is. It's about voice. It's about fun. Not sure which one's first. I think voice. No fun. Let's, let's have fun. Okay, I'm out of here. Bye-bye.